one morning as I started, being eager to travel, to view the state and grandeur of that charming lovely place, where Flora's flowery mantle did the fields bespangle, and the fragrant lily dangled along the cooling shade. I stood a while and wondered, gazed amazed and pondered, thinking it by magic so magnificently arrayed, until I espied Glengariff, where resides the Lord Chief Bantry, that noble splendid mansion so magnificently arranged. Where ladies meek and modest, mild, neat and handsome, lords, dukes of honour with them do parade, viewing the charming valleys and gardens of Glengariff, and blessing the prospects of this rival seat so neat. Tis there you'll see the grandest stables, best and strongest, trees of every fashion, fair, sublime and straight, the elder and the laurel, the ash, the oak, the apple, the elm, beech and holly, and the hazel there so neat. Tis there you'll hear the linnet, so equal with the spinet, the blackbird every minute, chattering forth his lay, the turtle dove and pigeon, the cuckoo sweetly singing, and the little feathered tribes, harmonious notes display. And the nightingale that listens, lay sleeping in the bushes to begin to sing Glengariff's praise. You could see those curious lawns, in a circumfective manner surrounding the demence, birds all singing like an organ in praise of Glengariff, wishing that the Earl of Bantry and his offsprings may thrive and forever reign. <laughs>